Audrina Patridge is devastated after split from Corey Borden, says the source, but she's leaning on her family. People confirmed Thursday that the Hills alum filed for divorce after less than a year of marriage to 35-year-old Bogan, citing irreconcilable differences, on Wednesday due to an alleged domestic violence incident. Patridge, who shares one-year-old daughter Kira Max with Bogan, filed for a temporary restraining order and child abduction prevention order against the professional BMX dirt bike rider on Monday. Audrina is leaning on her family. She is extremely close with her parents Lynn and Mark brother Marky and sister and they are all supporting her, they source close to the former MTV reality star tells people. They're a very tight family and protective of her. They just want what's best for Audrina and Kira. In her declaration submitted September 18 along with the restraining order, 32-year-old Patridge chronicles multiple instances of emotional abuse and violent outbursts by Bohan. I am fearful of Corey's temper because he cannot control his swearing and personal attacks on me, even when in the presence of our young daughter, the praise swim designer alleged in the documents. Since filing for divorce, the source says that physically, Audrina is okay, but she devastated. This is the end of a long-term relationship and she never wanted this to happen, the source continues. It's a disappointment on so many levels to say the least. It's painful and it's really hard, adds the source. This whole situation is so unfortunate for everyone. Corey has been in Audrina's life for almost 10 years. Patridge and Bogan began dating in 2008, spending several years together on and off before dramatically splitting on her VH1 reality show, Audrina, in 2011. By December 2011, however, Patridge was gushing to people that her romance with Bogan was thriving after leaving TV behind. The pair got engaged in November 2015 when Bohan popped the question at the Summit House in Orange County, California. Seven months later, the couple welcomed Kira Max in June 2016 before dying the knot in Hawaii in November of last year.